What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another food review. I'm back here and I've been looking on YouTube all day and looking on different things and just sitting there doing work stuff and I keep seeing ads and, and uh, commercials for the Sonic uh, bacon garlic butter burger again. And I thought to myself, well, I'll just uh, go ahead and go to the... I've already had the Sonic one, which the link will be in the description below if you want to check that out. Or, or maybe up on the screen if I can figure out the little thing. But um, I just was thinking maybe I ought to go do the original garlic butter burger. So, or original butter burger. So here we go with this. We're at Culver's. Well, we were at Culver's. Now we're down the street from Culver's. And the smells coming out of this this bag is just I don't I don't even know what to say. Their fries are. Mm. Yummy. So. We have a French fry. It says, Welcome to Delicious. I feel the need for the cheese. Oh, I feel the need, the need for cheese. I didn't get cheese on my fries, but I could have, I guess. But that's not why you go. Culver's. You go to Culver's for what is in this massive, massive box. This is, oh, oh my goodness, with the burger diaper on it, this is the double bacon butter burger. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a deluxe. It's got everything. Oh, the smell though, for real. Oh my gosh. Look at the crust on the burger. That's just amazing. Let's get a little piece. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Let's let's take a bite into this thing, man. Look at this. Look at this. The pickle on there. Oh, I don't even want to eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Yeah, Sonic, y'all got some work to do, bro. If this is what you're trying to be, y'all got work. Because this is unbelievable. I don't understand it. It's Welcome to Delicious. That's what I'm saying. They're accurate. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm just enjoying myself here. So, I'm going to attempt to start explaining stuff better. More food review -y other than just watching me eat. So let's break it down. First and foremost, you have this bacon, which is real bacon. They bake it off. It's all right. But you have these flat grilled butter patties that have, they're thin, 
Because they're like a smash patty, right? You got all this cheese, and the cheese is cooked right on there. It's not an afterthought like it is everywhere else with a fast food place, like where you get your, you know, they put the patty down. This is a double cheese, double, this is a situation here. So you can tell that they put that beef down and they smash it out. And it's so thin, it's thin, which is weird. I don't really, really like thin burgers, but if you get in there, it's very thin. And so it literally takes a couple of seconds. Took it on one side, and then you flip it, and they throw the cheese right on top of it. So then you have the grill, the heat from the grill, and the cheese is getting all bubbly and melted, and it gets this translucent like look to it, because it's just cooking right into that meat. And then they double stack them, throw some bacon in the middle, in the middle. The bacon's in the middle. It's not on top. There's nothing on top. The bacon is in the middle of the two patties, melted in the cheese. And that gives you this like whole different experience. Well, first and foremost, when you take a bite, your bacon's not coming off. It's staying there because it's melted between two patties. Hey, look at it. Look at where it's at here. I'll show you. See him? He's in the middle. He's in the middle. You're melted between two patties, so you're stuck. It's not going nowhere. It's greasy. I'm making a mess. I love greasy, by the way. The cheese, look at the cheese pouring out of that. There's enough cheese on there. This thing needs a diaper. I pulled the diaper off for better camera ability, but I regret all of a sudden automatically doing so. Mmm. I'm pretty sure that Culver's uses a uh, like a 95% lean or 90% lean burger patty or burger meat and then they patty it because they're putting that butter in there. So you really don't need the fat from that. Mm. The, the vegetables are fresh. There's no dehydrated onions on this. There's no little wrinkly tomato. This is a big boy, big ring, like solid piece of tomato. That, God, you can just taste the, like the flat grill part of it. It's got that almost what Sonic attempts to do with all their hamburgers. It's like a you can see the crust on there. It's got that pop to it. Salted, peppered, of course. Mm. It's messy. It's got mayonnaise on it. Uh, the mayonnaise I love mayonnaise on my burgers. I prefer mayonnaise on my burgers. My whole life, the way I was brought up, there's a huge controversy. It, 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 it actually divides the world, I think. But Because my girlfriend's the exact opposite. It's like being in the house and liking separate football teams that are in the same division. But... I am a mayonnaise, barbecue sauce kind of person when it comes to burgers, but mayonnaise. Not necessarily barbecue sauce, but definitely mayonnaise. My girlfriend is a ketchup and mustard person. I don't like a whole lot of ketchup or mustard on my burger. Ugh. I wish I could put that burger patty in the freaking internet for you guys and y'all could take a bite out of it. Or even smell it. The the char on that. The oh man. Mmm. 
Let's get on one of those fries again. Where'd it go? Let's get on one of these fries before they get cold. I'll be back. Okay. Alright guys, we're back. I'm sorry about that little pause there. Um, my uh, girlfriend called and I had to answer the phone and then the doctor's office called and then I ate all the french fries while I was on the phone, my bad. But they're pretty good. They're getting cold though. Crinkle fries really need ketchup though. It's a whole idea of a crinkle fry yet. Yeah. You dip. And then the ketchup stays on the little ridges. Better delivery system. That one's crispy. That's another worldwide debate of people arguing over food. What one do you like more? Crispy fries? Or kind of like, you know, not soggy, of course, but like... You know. All right. Well, they have a spatula on their cup. Hmm. They have good soda, too. All right, now, back to this ridiculous masterpiece of a cheeseburger here that I just don't even know how to explain to people. They're pickles, nice and thick, good crunch on it. They're onions. I'm also... Something that Culver's does different than any other fast food restaurant that I've ever seen. Not really fast food, but made to order kind of type thing. They use purple onions. Now that's another controversy. Do you like purple onions? Do you not like purple onions? Do you like white? Do you like yellow? I think most burger joints just use the standard American style, like, a sweet onion, I guess it would be. The bigger ones are called Vidalias, but it's not really a Vidalia, it's more like a, just an Americanized yellowish onion that's sweet. Mm. The crust on that burger is nuts. So, let's break this down for you. If you've never had a Culver's burger, I think I might have once in my life other than today. And that was when I was way younger. They... <clears throat> Do their burgers, which is with a lot of normal burgers, you get it, the flavor profile is in um, well, right there. But anyway, uh, the flavor profile of the burger is in layers. So they have these ridiculous buns that it's just a standard burger bun, but it's like they they butter them and grill them on the the flat top right with the burger, so you get this. I'm guessing they do it on. I think it had a little bit of a flat top taste to it. And then you get the melty, ridiculous cheese, right? And then you have this, like, whole thing where, you know, your your burger's there, and then your cheese and your bacon's there, and then the other burger's there, and then another piece of cheese there. And, and here's where a lot of people differ from different places is the way they stack their burgers. So me, when I make a burger at home, okay, 
I do the layer thing. Uh, you know, you make your burgers, you grill burgers, whatever you grill and barbecue them either way. You got your bun, you grill the bun with a little bit of either mayonnaise or butter, and then you put your mayonnaise on there, and then you put your tomato on the bottom, and then you put your burger patty, and then the patties are already, the cheese is already melted on the patty. No matter if you got one patty or two patty, you got cheese on both patties. And then you go, and this is how I do it anyway, you do your, the tomatoes on the bottom, and lettuce if you want it. And then you have your two burger patties, and then the onion, the little, the rings of onion, or the sliced onion, or however you do it, is on the top on the cheese and then there's either more mayonnaise on the top bun or barbecue sauce on the top bun and so when you bite through it people don't think about this and you've ever uh, ever wondered or seen someone eat a burger upside down like where you take it and you're holding it like this like you pick it up and it's like you pick it up with your fingers on the bottom and then when you go to bring it to your mouth, you flip it, right? And the thought behind that is, is that when you flip the burger up, your taste buds are on your tongue. So when you bite through, you go from, you go through the different layers of flavor. Now, I don't know if that's scientifically how it works, but that's how I do my burgers is because you get your your mayonnaise on the bottom, and then your tomato, if you like tomato, then your lettuce, and then you get the beef and the cheese flavor in the center, and then you got the little bit of onion on the end, and then your sauce, whatever your sauce is, on the top, chili, uh, barbecue sauce, ketchup, whatever. I don't know that that's how McDonald's designs, but McDonald's has always done their onions on top of the burger and their pickles. I put my pickles up there with the onions. See, this is where I differ from a lot of people. And this is where Culver's differs from a lot of different restaurants. It's like Sonic puts like the onions and the lettuce at the bottom on the mayonnaise. And then you get burger, burger, and then you get tomato pickle and then mayonnaise and bun. It's And sometimes they put them on the bottom. Sonic's really weird. They just It depends on who's making the burger, how they get stacked on there. They're just on there. So, and McDonald's, they don't really, I don't think that they have, other than the Big Mac, I don't think that they have any burgers with lettuce, unless you get the deluxe one, and I believe they have a double, they have a quarter pounder that has tomatoes and lettuce on it. They may not even have tomatoes, it just may, may be lettuce and bacon, but I don't believe that they make a sandwich with tomato on it as an option anymore. A lot of people don't like tomato anyway. And that's what Culver's does. Culver's does bun, grilled bun, mayonnaise, all of the vegetables, all of the vegetables, and then your meat, and then your top bun. And there's no dressing on the top bun either. So the top bun, kind of like, they grill it, but it acts like a sponge. So when you put it on top of the greasy, cheesy hamburger, it just sucks it. It goes, and sucks all that juice up in there. And so then you get the flavor of the meat and the butter that's inside the burger up through the, the butt, all the way to the last part of the bite. And that's what sets them. That and the crust on the burger is ridiculous. Ridiculous crust on the burger. You have to, if you want a good burger, if you're doing it on a grill, like a flat grill or in a pan, you want to get it hot, like hot hot like can't stand next to it as hot as you can get it to start out so you can get that and then you just put your seasoning salt or your salt pepper whatever on there and you want to get that crust that crispy barky crust and then you, you flip it and then you cheese it and then you cap it and then you wait because you want that crust in there I might have to make y'all a hamburger one of these days on video show you what your boy's working with but hope y'all enjoyed this video from Culver's 
the original Butter Burger, I believe is what they call themselves. I don't know. Never, I've only, like I said, I've been there twice in my life, and this was the second time, and it was delicious, and I loved it. But anyway, the original, or the home of the Butter Burger, or whatever they call it. But that crust, though, that crust, though, that's what you're missing. That's what you're missing. And that's also a thing that, it's like a smash burger. They call it a smash burger because they put it in there as a ball, and then they take the spatula and this little wooden handle deal and they and squish and, and slide it so it's really thin and it pushes that flap and then that's where you get your really good crust at a lot of the other places you can get the crust on like a pre-made hamburger patty that you buy at walmart or that like sonic and them has but their grills just it's made to do everything so fast it's made to do everything so fast that they just they just cook the meat through and throw it out the window. They don't really worry about the crust. They don't really worry about the mouthfeel, the bite, the the little snap in there. Like Culver's is like you get that when you bite into the meat, you get that little like that little crunchy resistance when you bite into it. And it gives it a whole different mouthfeel than like a regular fast food burger. So if y'all haven't tried it, go find one. Google that because it's worth it. You'll, you'll love it. They're a little expensive. They're a little expensive. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't show you all the receipt. I'll do it at the end of the video this time. Um, Culver's Topeka. Uh, bacon Deluxe Double Basket with Fries, medium, doctor, medium Diet Pepsi. $11.80, $11.78. Don't know if you can read it. Um, if you can't, uh, the, the, their papers are pink. Never seen that anywhere else. But, uh, yeah. I'm telling you. So, anyway, I will see y'all in the next video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope my battery ain't dead yet. Hope y'all enjoyed this, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. I just wanted to do this review. I've been waiting to get to one when I had time to do it because I've really been wanting to do the Culver's thing for a long time. Pretty much ever since we've done the butter burger from Sonic because everybody's like, no, the Culver ones are better. Yeah, you're right. They are. They're way better, but they don't have the garlic in there that Sonic had. That's the only thing Sonic had going for him is a little really garlicky, and I liked that, but other than that, it was horrible. But, all right, we'll see y'all in the next one. Hope y'all liked the more in-depth, like, trying to describe stuff. If you like that platform a little bit better, let me know, and I'll start doing that on all the videos, and if you like to just see me eat and talk, then that's what we'll do on that, so... I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all like this rendition of, of I guess it's going to be a Fast Food Friday. I'm not quite sure. And uh, we will see you all in the next one. Like I said, link for the Sonic one will be in the, down in the description below. We'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.